In Grenada, the economic and social fallout of COVID-19 has been significant. You hear it from 13-year-old student Tyler Smith. When we had um, COVID, mm -hmm. we used to have to stay home and do Zoom classes. Sometimes we used to miss it a lot. But we used to have to go to school. You, would you miss some of the classes on the Zoom platform? Yes. Why? Because the Wi-Fi used to give a lot of trouble. But it's not just the limited Wi-Fi access that educators must now contend with. Rising cases in Grenada resulted in a pause on the planned reopening of schools, but Beyond the Headlines panelist Julie Lutz says it's no different in North Carolina. Several of the schools that have already started in the area that were planning to not have any remote learning have within the first two weeks had to go to remote learning because of the um, increase in COVID cases and quarantine. So it's um, it's been um, kind of a kind of a mess for parents, students, administrators, teachers, everybody. Rachel Fisher lives in Florida and she too has witnessed the upending of the education system caused by COVID-19. We started school, so school has started here and immediately had, you know, hundreds to thousands of cases of COVID within the first week of school in the bigger school districts here in Florida, like Palm Beach County and where I live. Um, and they are having to go to more remote learning. They're having to go to mask mandates. The Grenada Union of Teachers is against vaccine mandates, and it's not unique to the local fraternity. Beyond the headlines guest, Mrs. Judy Marshall, who is a Grenadian by birth, says teachers in New York are also into the throes of this thorny subject. We're waiting on tomorrow's meeting with the um, president of the United Federation of Teachers, Mr. Michael Mulgrew, to see what the union is going to um, have to say about that, or do teachers have to quit their jobs if they don't want to be vaccinated? And I think a lot of the resistance come from a people not being, you know, not feeling comfortable being told what to do. I think the, the, the resistance is, is mostly stemming from that resentment that somebody is telling a grown person what to do with their own body. The common theme running through Mondays Beyond the Headlines was, we may live thousands of miles away, but we all have common problems.